Welcome to a new video in my home automation series. In this video, I'm going to talk about some automation features in the Tuya Smart app again. If you are new to this Tuya Smart and you want to see my overall video on the whole application and, and you know the various features in general, there I've made a separate video and I'm going to leave a link in the cards and also in the video description. But what I'm going to talk about here is a function which again most people request and that's a two-way or actually a three-way switching. So the scenario is the following. You have a, let's say you have a stairwell and you have switches downstairs and upstairs as well. And uh, when you, either when you're going up or down, you want to be able to press a switch at downstairs, which turns the lights on. And when you get up, you, have, you press another switch and then it's going to turn the, the lights off. And it should work the same way uh, when you're coming down. So basically you have two light switches which control, let's say one or two lights, it doesn't really matter. Because I don't have two single switches, uh, for, the, uh, for the sake of this test, I'm just going to use these two gang switch. So for the sake of this test, let's just assume that this is two separate switches. Um, it's going to work um, almost the same way uh, to, for this automation, so it doesn't really matter. And um, uh, in fact, let's say I have two lights, so maybe I have a light upstairs and downstairs in the stairwell. So as you can see, if I turn this light on, well, both of them comes on. Of course, if I turn off, they turn off. But if I turn it on again, and if I, let's say I've moved upstairs and I'm pressing the upstairs button, then I can turn off the lights with the upstairs button as well. Basically, what is happening here is that the status change of any of these two switches copy its status over to the other device or the other switch. Wiring of such a two-way switch is actually quite complicated to explain and uh, if you are not really sure about it, you probably should contact an electrician. But I've also left a link in the video description which points to a PDF file where I've tried to explain how you would set up a, a two-way switching or how you would you know, change a regular two-way switching to two, you know, single smart switches. And what I'm going to set up here is a two-way switching, but uh, once you understand how it is set up, you can quickly understand that the same concept can be used like a three-way switches or let's say four-way switches. So again, you have multiple switches all controlling one light. And the main thing is, is to keep all these switches, the state of all these switches uh, in sync. If I want to show you in the app, if I go into my test switch, so this is my two gang switch, which is here. If I'm going to turn on one of the switch plate, then you will notice that the other one turns off as well. Sorry, turns on as well. And if I turn off, then the other one turns off as well. So it's all working within, uh, in using automation. And the, you know, the small delay that you see between the, the, you know, the left one and the right one switching is actually the time it takes for the signal to go up to the cloud and then come for the, you know, the instruction to come back, come down to the, for the other switch. Because it's all done with automation. So, and in order to set this up, we are going to select smart. And in on the top, we are just going to use the automation. So this is not a scenario, this is a smart automation. And for this to work, we actually have to create four different automations. So as you can see, I have them here, two way A, B, C, and D. We need to set up four because uh, we have four different scenarios. Switch one turns on or off and switch two turns on or off. And we have to handle all four of these scenarios. So because we are using two switches and each switch has two states, it's four uh, different um, combinations. Of course, if you have six, uh, sorry, uh, three switches which have two states, then it will be six different scenarios. So let's look at the first one. So the first scenario is that, uh, I just call it two-way A. Uh, by the way, if you haven't created any automations yet, you just click on the save, uh, on the, sorry, plus button on the top right, you specify a name, you can also pick an icon, and that's how you start configuring it. And you specify a condition and the action by clicking on the plus button. So let's go back to the ones that I've created already. So the two-way A is, a condition is when, the, when one of the light switch turns on. So I call this left and right, even though it's up and down here. So if the left turns on, so if one of the switch turns on, let's say switch one turns on, that's the condition, then I have to set the switch two 
to also on. So again, I'm just copying the state of the first one to the next one. And of course, this will run all day. Again, if you haven't done this, so basically you just pl uh, click plus, device, set whatever switch, and then the state. And the other one should be fairly simple. So in, within the action line, I click on plus, and then device, and whatever device. Well, I just have to uh, gang switch, so I have to also select the gang, but then finally you select the state that you want to set uh, you want to set to or action. So that's the first one. So if switch one turns on, switch two should also turn on. The second scenario should be uh, fairly straightforward. If the same, so switch one turns off, the other one should turn off as well. So that's your second scenario. The third scenario. If switch 2 turns on, switch 1 should also turn on. And probably you would have guessed the last scenario. If switch 2 turns off, switch 1 should turn off, as well, turn off as well. So again, as I said in the beginning, it is very simple. All the devices which are controlling the same uh, light or same device should copy their state over to all their other switches. And as I said, in a free way, uh, switch uh, layout, you would have three different devices, three different switches, um, which means that you have six different scenarios. So uh, you would have um, the scenario where switch one turns on, switch one turns off, switch two turns on, switch two turns off, switch three turns on, switch three, uh, three turns off. And within the actions, you are not only going to have one action, but only going, uh, you're also going to have two actions because if switch one turns on, you need switch 2 to turn on and switch 3 to turn on. So in the actions you would have two lines here. So you click on plus twice. Of course that gets a little bit complicated and you just have to keep in mind your scenarios and just make sure that you are setting all of them correctly because then, yeah, uh, you might have one that you have missed. So you just need to test all the scenarios. But it is working now. So I'm, um, I'm clicking on the left um, switch face. So I've turned it on, now I can turn it off. I can turn on by clicking on the right one, turn it off, and also it works the other way. So I clicked on right, now I'm clicking on left. The end result is always the same. State of one of the switch copies over to the state of the other switch. And that's how you set this up. I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.